thank you for inviting me to speak today and greetings to you all from Brussels. It's great to find a conference dedicated to making next generation broadband a reality in the UK. I have the same goal for the EU more generally. I want to get every European digital and in particular everyone with access to fast broadband by 2020. You are probably aware of the many challenges facing this goal in your own areas. Those challenges exist across Europe too. Just over one in four Europeans has still never touched the internet at all. And compared to our international competitors, we lag behind on providing fast fiber networks. We need investment across Europe, 180 to 270 billion euros worth in fact. But it is worth it. The internet is an economic essential for everyone, from businesses, small and large, to academia, to the creative industries. Fast broadband is the digital oxygen, allowing this ecosystem to thrive and boosting growth. It is hard to imagine a confident, prosperous Europe in 2020 without it. So how are we meeting this challenge? First, let's not forget that through sound telecom regulation, we have already created a strong legal framework promoting both investment and competition. But we are not yet there. I'm therefore interested in exploring possible approaches which could lead to a more consistent regulatory environment and could create the right incentives for telecom operators, in particular incumbents, to invest in next generation networks. So we are consulting in two key areas, cost methodologies for wholesale access and non-discrimination obligations for an efficient broadband policy. This should reassure markets that putting money in fiber networks is a safe and profitable investment. And we are putting our money where our mouth is. As part of our Connecting Europe facility, the Commission has proposed over 7 billion euros for broadband networks. We will use this money to make projects more credible, particularly those in less attractive and more isolated areas. We will engage new players because projects can be suggested not just by telecom companies, but by others like water, sewage, electricity or construction firms, or indeed combinations of those clubbing together. And we will leverage public and private funds, enhancing investment, not crowding it out. Indeed, each euro we invest could leverage cross-private investment between 6 and 15 euros. So overall, the EU's action could mean tens of millions more households with broadband. Of course, this Commission proposal will have to be agreed by Member States and the European Parliament. But I will hope they'll be able to do that urgently. Alongside this, the EU had just reached a deal on an ambitious programme for radio spectrum. And that will help us anticipate and meet rocketing demand for spectrum as we make the leap ahead to next generation mobile broadband. Enabling infrastructure isn't the only thing we are doing. We also need the consumer demand to support broadband investment. First, we need people to trust in the internet and ensure that people know it is a place of safety, of security and privacy for all. And second, we need people to be interested in what the internet has to offer so that they are prepared to pay the price for high-speed broadband. And I want to encourage service providers, public and private, to put their next generation online services on the market quickly so that we can test and stimulate customer appetite. And I also want to create a vibrant digital single market. Europeans should be able to access the best the internet has to offer, wherever they are, whether in Bristol, Brussels or Bratislava. Too often, fragmented national rules, like on copyright, make that difficult. And I think we need to change that. Creating for a potential market of 500 million people will mean economies of scale for content producers. And a better content will mean more and more consumers see the advantages of high-speed broadband. Alongside that, we will also need to safeguard the open internet. 
to reap the full benefits of the digital economy, we must secure market access for innovative providers. And I'm waiting for Barrick to provide me with facts and figures on that issue, so that any action is informed and coordinated. And that's just some of what we are doing in the European Commission. But I'm very aware that we are at best an enabler, a catalyst. Ours is a framework and a call to action for many different actors out there. Individuals and companies, governments and grassroots activists. People like you. Europe's digital transformation will only be achieved thanks to your effort, energy and enterprise. Well done and good luck.